Okay, let's do some math for fun. Here we are going to differentiate sin x, but not to the regular power of 3, but rather we have the hyper power of 3. So what does this mean? This right here, you can also call it to be the titration. This just means that you take sin x for your base, and then you pew, pew. Yeah. So you are talking about differentiating sin x here, and then you raise that to the sin x to the sin x power, like that. So what does this mean? Once again, you have this right here, and then you have this whole thing as the power of that, okay? And then you should have the parentheses like this, okay? This is called the titration. It's like repeated exponentiation. So it's a superpower, of course. Hyperpower, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, how can we deal with this, though? Well, well, the base right here is sin x. That's not what we like. We want to have base e. So to handle that, I will just... You know, change that to e to the ln of whatever that is. So this is the same as saying differentiating e to the ln of sin x, and then that's sin x still because e and l cancel. Take that raised to this power, which is sin x to the sin x power, like that. And now when you have this to that power, you can just multiply the powers. Therefore, you actually end up with, well, you're just still trying to differentiate, right? You are just trying to get the form to work. You have e raised to the, let me just put that to the front, sine x to the sine x power times ln of sine x, like that. We are ready to differentiate, so check this out. Okay, okay, okay. First of all, the derivative of e to the something, it's always e to that thing. So I will just write this down as e to the sine x to the sine x times ln of sine x. And then the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of this guy here. And congratulations, because we have a product. So we have to use the product rule, right? Or the product rule. You can use the Gucci rule if you would like. Anyway. I'm going to keep the first function, which is sine x to the sine x power right here. And then we are going to multiply by the derivative of this. Namely, it's going to be 1 over sine x times the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside again, which is going to be cosine x, like that. Cool. Then we add the second function, which is ln of sine x. Then we times by the derivative of that guy. That's sine x to sine x. Yes, we pretty much have to do this kind of things again. So let me just make a note on the side here. I'm going to differentiate sine x to the sine x power. And of course, once again, similar reason, I will change this sine x to the e to the ln sine x power. It's pretty much just this to the sine x power. We don't have that. You can multiply this and that, right? So you get to differentiate e and then ln of sine x and then this sine x right here. Right, here we go. The derivative of this, you have e to the, well, same thing right here, sine x ln sine x times Chen Ruo says, multiply by the derivative of this right here. So let's see what we get. First one sine x times the derivative of the second. You get 1 over sine x times, once again, the chain rule tells you multiply by cosine x. And then you add the second function, which is ln sine x times the derivative of the first, which is cosine x, like that. Yes, I think this is still in the video. There. Okay, so this is pretty nice. Now, let's see. This guy is pretty much just that, which is just that. So I will change this guy to sine to the sine x, of course. Like that. And notice this and that cancel, and both terms have cosine x, so I can factor that all the way to the front right here. And then the rest is just going to be 1 from here, because the cosine is out, and then we add the width ln of sine x, like that. So this right here is the derivative of sine x to the sine x power. Yeah, I know. 
when are we going to see this in real life? You are seeing it right now. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so differentiating sine x to sine x, I pretty much have to put this down right here. So let me just write this down in green altogether. So we have cosine x times sine x to the sine x power, and then you multiply by 1 plus ln of sine x like that, and then I will close the parentheses like that. Right, now, let's come back here to see if there's anything that we can do. Hmm, first of all, uh, this and that cannot be cancelled yet. Let's see, I see that we have the sine x, sine x in common, right here. Sine x plus sine x, and then sine x plus sine x, they are in common, so we can factor it out and put that all the way to the front. And we also have cosine x, cosine x in common, right? It doesn't have any power, so we can also factor out to the front. And perhaps I'll put on the cosine x first, right? This is the most behaved uh, fun function right here. It's cosine x to the first power of that. Next, I will put down sine x plus sine x in blue. So we take this, multiply by sine x to the sine x power. All right, and then we have this part. This part here is just the same as that part, which is the same as that part, which is the same as that part, which is, yeah, this part. Unless you want to write it down like that. Doesn't really matter, up to you. So you can multiply this by sine x to the sine x to the sine x power. All right, like that. All right, so we did all the factorings already. And in the end, I will just put down the rest in green. So. From this part, we have 1 over sine x. If you would like, you can put down cosecant x. So I will do that. And then this right here, if you would like, you can distribute. So perhaps I will. Let's take this, distribute with the 1. So you add it with ln of sine x. And you should technically put parentheses right here. But I think this is pretty clear. I will still put it anyway. Huh? Because we're almost done. And then we take this times that. So you can add ln of sine x and then raise this guy to the second power like that. Whew. How cool is this? Of course, if you prefer, you can write this as sine x with a 2 right there. You can write this as sine x with a 3 right there. But I will leave that to you guys. This right here is it. Right? So perhaps I will challenge you guys. Maybe you can come with some crazy derivative questions and don't just ask me or don't just like uh, tweak me the picture. Try to make a video on your differentiation as well. But anyway, hopefully you guys like this. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I will have a lot of interesting math questions. You know, then I will show you guys how to solve a lot of math, math. I will show you guys how to solve a lot of interesting math questions for you guys. Anyway, as always, that's it.